hi and hello thank you so much for tuning in and if you are new welcome to my channel my name is Preeti Rao and I am both a real estate and a mortgage broker for close to 20 years now last week I asked you a very simple question where have all the sellers gone and I gave you all the reasons why sellers are in hiding today the funny thing is I actually got calls from some sellers who saw the video and have agreed with me that they are not selling because the bank is going and amortizing their mortgage for 50 years when we did the math and the numbers they finally realized that by the time this mortgage actually gets paid off they would have paid almost double the amount in interest payments alone now yes when it comes to renewal hope Hopefully the rates will be slightly lower so they may save around 40 or 50 thousand dollars in interest payments overall but is that good enough in the grand scheme of things let's discuss but first you know the drill make sure to like share subscribe tap that bell icon it gets me motivated to keep you up to date with everything real estate What is the amortization period? The mortgage amortization period is a total number of years it will take you to pay your mortgage in full. Typically, this is 25 to 30 years. Now, a lot of people mistake the amortization period to the term. They are two separate things. Terms are periods of time commonly six months to five years where you borrow the money from a particular financial institution at an agreed upon interest rate at the end of each term you can either renew it for another term or move to another financial institution with a new mortgage or pay the mortgage in full you continue to renew the term until your mortgage is fully paid off your mortgage amortization is also affected by your payments a portion of each payment goes towards paying down your principal the rest goes towards paying your interest on your mortgage loan even though the payment is the same each and every month the ratio of principal to interest will change with each and every payment this is because the more you pay to your principal the less interest is charged the more money you can put towards your principal the shorter your amortization period will be simple right well it depends on what kind of a rate you have with the bank what kind of an extended amortization period you have chosen and also what kind of a mortgage you have opted for today we will not get into all of that today i will only talk about my conversations that i had with these two particular homeowners who called me and how after we went through all the numbers they realized that paying down this overextended mortgage is going to be a task so the first client who called me had a small mortgage balance left and for easy calculations i have left the interest rates the same for both clients at 4.85 but their loan amounts are accurate the first homeowner only had around $275,000 left on his mortgage but due to financial situations was not able to manage and the banks extended his mortgage to 50 years. This is 600 payments in total needed to pay off the mortgage. When we did the numbers he realized that if nothing changes he would have made total payments amounting to approximately $735,000. And out of that, the interest payment alone would be around $460,000 as compared to 525 in payments out of which the interest would have been only 249,000 if he stuck to the original 30-year amortization. Note that these numbers are approximate numbers but fairly accurate. He is going to land up paying the bank almost $211,000 extra in interest payments alone if he does not do anything and leaves things as they are. The second homeowner who called me had a bigger mortgage to take care of. His balance was around $600,000. Now, if he continues with the 30-year amortization, his payments would have been around $1,143,000 approximately in the lifetime of that mortgage with around $543,000 going towards the interest but his bank offered him a 50-year amortization. Now his lifetime payment will be around $1,604,000 with interest payments alone being $1,003,000. That is a difference of $460,000 that the bank is going to make extra if he does not change his mortgage payments today. So you see, as good as it is not not to have to sell your home or not to downsize the flip side is that the banks then make the money off you so either ways you lose if you sell you may not get what you think is a true value of your property with that extra 
for $200,000 that the seller got in 2022. But if you keep the home and you do not increase your monthly payments, but instead go and increase the amortization, guess what? That $200,000 is now going to the bank slowly but surely so choose wisely and always talk to a mortgage professional who knows what they're doing and who truly has your best interest at heart do the math look into all aspects of that mortgage before you sign that dotted line and if you need any assistance or guidance you know exactly who to call so if you have questions or want clarifications please do not hesitate to call me if you still don't know who i am just go check my rating on google and read my client reviews till then take care and if you found value or like this video and would like to see more content please click on the boxes on the screen once again my name is Preeti Rao my contact information is in the description box below make sure to hit like share subscribe and that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos thank you so much for watching and don't forget to call me because I hold the key that opens the door to your dream home